Hello and welcome back to HG Global News. The Olympics originated in ancient Greece and from there spread to the whole world, going beyond all kinds of boundaries. Last year, the Olympics that had to be postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic has now begun, igniting excitement in the whole world. Amidst the Olympics in Japan, True Mother presided over the Sunday service of hope for Japan's Subregion 1, sharing her peace and love, adding to the excitement of the Olympic spirit. This week, we will bring you coverage of that Sunday service and other news we receive from the mission fields. We hope it may inspire you. With the Olympic Games on the way, all eyes of the world are now on Japan, the mother nation. On Sunday, August 1, True Mother presided over the special service of hope in Japan Subregion 1, which was held in the Olympic city of Tokyo. She bestows her blessings so that humanity can rise up and find hope in the face of the climate change and the COVID-19 pandemic that continues to create chaos. The service recorded the participation of peace ambassadors, blessed families and new members from the 89 churches in the 16 districts of Tokyo, as well as FFWPU members and peace ambassadors from Korea Subregion 1. The service began with the Hyojong testimony of car president of the University of Tokyo, who expressed the determination of the youth to realize a heavily unified Japan. This was followed by testimonies from Pastor Koba Yashi of the Evangelical Church and the city councillor Yamadada Tayoshi to go beyond simply being ambassadors of peace and form blessed families. The theme of the sermon was raising the anchor of hope towards a heavily unified Japan and was given by Reverend Tanaka Tomihiro, president of Subregion 1. His grace-filled words warmed the hearts of the members. Tayshonidaita the members of Subregion 1 then expressed their resolution and hearts of filial piety towards True Mother, and then Mrs. John Wonju McDavid shared with them words of love spoken by True Mother at the previous services of hope held in Japan. After that, True Mother spoke words of blessing predicting a bright future for Japan. Sarahan 올림픽을 개최하면서 일본의 최고 지도자와 백성들이 하나가 되어야 하는 점에서는 성공했다고 볼 수가 없습니다. 다시 말해서 일본은 모든 면에서 갖추었다고 하나 그 중심이 세워 있지 않습니다. 인류 역사 또한 6천년을 내려오면서 평화롭고 자유로운 세계를 추구해 나왔지만은 희망은 보이지 않습니다. 이제 하늘은 더 이상 기다릴 수 없다고 하는 환경을 인류에게 보여주고 계십니다. 선진국이라고 하는 나라들이 인간 중심한 자국의 이익을 목적으로 하는 한 인류의 평화는 올수 없습니다. 뿐만 아니라 
인간의 무지로 인해서 오늘날 겪고 있는 자연재해를 어떻게 설명할 수 있겠습니까? 최고의 과학의 기술로도 어찌할 수 없습니다. 이러한 현실을 보면서도 나라의 최고 지도자들은 하늘의 경고와 하늘의 음성을 듣는 것에 대한 소홀함이 오늘의 인류가 겪어야 할 이루 말할 수 없는 고통을 주고 있다는 것을 깨달아야 할 것입니다. 이제 일본이 더 이상의 일본만을 생각하는 일본에 대해서는 미래에 대한 희망이 없습니다. 세계를 향해서 어머니의 역할, 부모의 역할을 해야 되는 이 현실을 외면하는 일본이 되어서는 안 되겠습니다. 인류가 소원하는 본향의 지상천국을 향하는 데 있어서 거의 문턱까지 왔는데 거기에 주저앉는다면 그들에게는 미래가 없습니다. 나는 평화의 어머니, 독생이여 참 어머니로서, 우주의 어머니로서 강력하게 일본이, 한국이 창조주 하나님을 모시는 자리에서 그 책임을 다하는 두 나라가 되기를 간곡히 바라며 이 사실을 두 나라의 축복 가정들과 평화대사 지도자 여러분들이 한 목소리로 하나가 되었음을 선서하고 선포하는 그날을 앞당기는 두 나라가 되기를 염원합니다. True Mother then watched the entertainment show casting the hearts of filial piety. It was a moment for the blessed families, leaders and youth of the second generation to express all their love for True Mother. Then there was a signing of memorandum of understanding between Japan and Korea Subregion 1, which marked their firm commitment before God and true parents to realize a heavily unified Korea on the basis of a united Japan and Korea as brothers and sisters and sons and daughters of heavenly parent. At the moment of entertainment, the wives from Korean Japanese mixed couple emphasized the ideal of such marriages and the model of one human family united under God, so long waited and desired by heaven. Through firm resolutions, the members of Subregion 1 expressed their hearts of filial piety and disclosed their goals. They have entered this new era of blessing with the goal of achieving a unified heavenly career and a total restoration of Japan. Recently, a 40-day leadership education program for pastors was conducted in Ivory Coast to develop the skills and ability of pastors, as Ivory Coast movement gears itself towards the restoration of one-third of the nation. A total of 10 pastors from the central and west part of Ivory Coast participated in the program. The program included lectures on the divine principles, strategies on HTM activities and witnessing, basic IT skills and divine principle lecturing practice. All participants actively took part in the 40-day program and went back home with the firm determination to do their best in contributing to the restoration of their nation. 
From July 8 to 29, 2021, the National Ocean Challenge Program, NOCP, held its 12th annual program in Kodiak, Alaska. 25 participants and staff from around the U.S. and Europe gathered for a unique hands-on immersion experience of God's creation. With the ocean as the training grounds, NOCP seeks to empower future leaders to become true owners of God's creation through ocean-based educational and experiential activities rooted in true parents' teachings. Through this leadership training, they hope to develop character and faith and continue true parents' legacy in young members. FFWPU Congo Brazzaville conducted a special devotional condition under the theme The Ideal Family, Heavenly Parents' Desires. The condition was simultaneously conducted in Brazzaville, the capital city, and three other areas in the country. Around 100 or so blessed couples and members participated in the condition. Participants prayed for True Mother's Good Health. They read True Parents' words as condition for blessed families going through hardships and offered their most sincere prayers. At the end, they sang the Song of Unity with hopes to bring about a heavily unified career and concluded the session with the stronger determination to rise as model blessed families who can contribute in creating a better society. On July 24, FFWPU Ivory Coast conducted the Divine Principal Workshop for VIPs. Around 30 or so VIPs, including traditional chiefs and professors, participated in the workshop which introduced the goal and vision of FFWPU, True Parents' work and the value and need of the blessing. All participants testified they found the content of the workshop to be meaningful and expressed desire to further learn about the blessing marriage and True Parents' vision of peace. IAPD Benin was launched on 24th of July at the Peace Embassy of Heavenly Parents Holy Community in Cotonou. 120 participants participated and among them were 70 religious leaders from 15 different congregations. Some key guests on this day included the Chair of the Methodist Protestant Church of Benin, the Chair of the Evangelical Church of the Assembly of God, the Chair of the Church of Cherubim and Seraphim, the Prophet of the Evangelical Mission of Peace and Action and the Chair of Islamic Union of Benin. Participants from across Africa and the world also joined online. Alongside the launch of IAPD Benin was also the inauguration of the Chair of IAPD Benin and other newly appointed officials as well as the Peace Ambassadors. The entire program came to an end with the gratitude expressed to True Mother for bringing religious leaders together into shared action for peace through IAPD. Recently in Bolivia, Senator Rodrigo Paz Pereira, the second vice president of the Bolivian Senate, paid a visit to our headquarters in Santa Cruz, where he had a meeting with leaders of major providential organizations, mainly UPF, WFWP, and YSP. Senator Rodrigo Paz Pereira commented on UPF's status and reputation and asked for UPF's support in helping pass his emergency sanitation draft law. He also discussed the current state of affairs in Bolivia with our leaders. On August 1, 2021, a Tongil Mudo Bell promotion exam was held at Desan Church, Chombok District, Subregion 3 of Heavenly Korea. The event was hosted by Tongil Mudo, the Martial Arts Federation for World Peace, and organized by the Tongil Mudo Federation of Korean Headquarters. The Bell promotion test was successfully hosted and concluded in strict compliance to the government's COVID policies. A total of 35 people gathered. Among those who honored the program with their presence were Pak Ku Yon, the chair of Tongil Mudo Chombuk chapter, currently the church leader of Poon Church, Pastor Han Sok Su of the Desan Church, and Song Hui Chol, Director General of Martial Arts Federation for World Peace in Poon Church. Prior to the belt promotion test in Desan Church, Sok Chunu, International Chair of the Martial Arts Federation for World Peace, gave some words of encouragement to all those who attended online and conveyed three calligraphic titles that True Parents bestowed as the educational philosophies to Tongil Mudo. Trainees taking the belt promotion test express their resolution to become Hyo Jongrangs that True Parents desire. 
The World Peace and Unification Institution is an organization with the mission to conduct internal divine principle education. Recently, it concluded the 32nd class of divine principle lectures training conducted over a period of 18 weeks from March 27 to July 24th. Unlike past trainings conducted offline, the training for the 32nd class of lectures was conducted online through Zoom. Training for the 33rd class will begin from the second week of September. The World Peace and Unification Institution will not stop until the day everyone becomes a Divine Principal Lecturer. Great individual efforts create influence well beyond oneself. In that light, we hope that all our personal efforts will expand throughout the entire globe so that we can continue to realize God's dream. That's all we have for this week. Thank you for joining us and may God bless you.